Hello guys, IT sisters here back with another video. Well, before jumping into the actual topic that is best firewall software for Windows, let us have a little chit chat about some related things like what is a firewall, what it is actually gonna do to your system, why do you need a firewall and other things like that. Well, first of all, let's start with what is a firewall. A firewall may be either a hardware or a software thing and the basic functionality of a firewall is to protect your network from data intrusions. This is how a firewall enabled network looks like. A PC, the firewall, the network. Every action of the network will be monitored by the firewall and every data transmission will be perfectly scanned, warned and protected by the firewall. If you send a data from your system to the outside network then it will also be scanned and the outside network through your system will also be scanned and this firewall scans the packet. A packet is nothing but a part of your data. Your data will be split into lots and lots of packets in the network system and the basic structure of a packet looks like this. It has a header portion and the data portion and the header portion consists of the sender's address and the receiver's address and the data portion consists of the actual data to be sent or received. Well, in case if I have blocked Internet Explorer's access using my firewall software, then any data which is downloaded or sent to my system by Internet Explorer will be completely blocked by my firewall because using the header thing, the firewall identifies that Internet Explorer is blocked, so it sends back the data or it discards the data. So, in case if you need a firewall software with a real-time network monitor, network access viewer, alert system, network scanner, a mini antivirus software and other things like these, then I have the exact thing for you. And the name of the software is Glasswire Firewall. Printvenue.com, the website which allows you to customize lots and lots of products using the image of your choice. If you want to create a business card or a t-shirt or a mouse pad or a laptop skin by applying the image you wish, then just go to Printvenue.com, grab the product you need, upload the picture which needs to be applied on the product, crop the picture as per your needed dimensions and simple, add it to your cart. And don't forget to use the coupon code ITSSTAS during the process of checkout to get an exclusive offer for 30% on all your purchases. To learn more, click the link in the video description. Glassware Firewall software comes in 4 variants, one free to use software package and free pay and use software packages. And the 3 payment modes are Basic, Pro and Elite. I contacted Glassware Firewall before a month and I told them I'm going to review your software. Uh, it's nice so can you provide me with the review basic key and it's so kind of them because they provided me with an Elite version key. Thank you Glass Firewall. First let us start with the graphical user interface or the user interface of the software. The things or the features are well organized in forms of tabs, easily understandable things and you can switch from one tab to another and the tabs are starting from the real time network graph, firewall, usage, network and alerts. We'll be seeing what are the functions or features of these things in the later part of the video, so wait for it. Here it comes. Let us start with the graph section of this Glassware Firewall software. The graph which actually displays the network activity in real-time format. The graph peak shows that the network activity is at peak and the lower peak shows that the network is dormant or you are not using or accessing the network. So if you want to view the past two hours network activity then it can also be done using this graph section and even in case if you want to confront someone by saying ha you used my network before two hours then there's an option to capture the screen of the graph section you can do that if you have a doubt regarding this graph section then let us have a little test session on the left side i have google chrome open and on the right side i have glass for firewalls graph section well, let us start the testing session by playing a video. As you know, video playing consumes more data. It downloads the video data, so the network activity should be at peak and have a look at the right side. The graph is piling up, piling up, it's increasing. It's real, the graph is working, it's real, it's not fake. It is showing the real-time network activity, it is working. 
even in case if you want to differentiate between software's activity or in case if you have google chrome mozilla firefox and internet explorer open in three separate windows and if you want to check which consumes uh, more data or how much data is consumed by all these software then you can switch to apps mode in case if you want to view the traffic of protocols and other things used by the network then you can switch to traffic mode in the graph section and well basically these are the most important things which are present inside the graph section of this glass wire firewall well and now let us move to the next section the most important section and that is nothing but the firewall section the firewall section displays all the softwares and services which are accessing or using your network at real time this also works in real time and see my firewall section there are lots of services and softwares running in case if you want to block access to a particular software or service just click on the fire button on the left side which will block access to the software or service and if you don't like a software just block it if you don't like a service to be running at the background block it can be done in a single click just just like that single click so let's try by blocking google chrome now i'll block google chrome and jam there it goes google chrome can't access my network it will be blocked for eternity till i remove that block or till i uninstall glass or firewall let me scroll down and find some other activities oh there are lots and lots of softwares which are using the network without my knowledge if you have suspicion on a particular software or service just block it using this firewall section in, in the same way you can also view what are the host the service or the software is trying to access that is the ip address or the website which the service is accessing at real time if you click on google chrome the plus 15 more icon uh, the host or the ip address or the urls accessed by google chrome now will be displayed there and you can see there are lots of host address and ip address and they are accessing my network right now so in case if you find uh, an unusual activity in that too then block the software uh, it works in an easy way and on the top there will be an option to block all network access uh, if you want to block your whole network access then just select it but in case if you want to block one year particular software or service just click on the fire icon I don't want to waste time in this section let us move on to the next one that is the usage section where the usage limit or the data usage limit of all the softwares and services will be displayed there you could see my network has totally consumed 178.4 megs of data from the time of installation of glassware firewall on the right side of the tab inside the usage section you can find the apps host traffic type Inside apps, Google Chrome, host process for Windows, system, OBS updated on. On the host side, the IP address or the web URLs accessed by the softwares or services. And on the extreme right, the traffic type. What protocol is consuming what data or how much data? Hypertext stands for protocol is transmitting or consuming 82.9 megs of data. That makes sense because uh, all the websites I'm accessing right now are all the websites which everyone access uh, usually uses HTTP protocol that's known that's how usage section works and in the same way even if you want to categorize the usage section you can switch to apps traffic uh, which is nothing but just compartmentalized or categorized view of usage access in case if you want to find only a separate thing like google chrome how much it is consuming mozilla firefox how much it is consuming and other things like that um, that is all with the usage section the most surprising thing and the most important thing here is that glassware firewall comes with a mini antivirus inside it and if you want to scan a particular software just click on it click on scan it will scan for viruses and if it is a tarjon warm or a malicious thing Mm, it will report you then you can take your you can make your own decision if you wish to keep it keep it and let your system die in case if you don't want to then just uninstall it that's how it works and that is all with the usage section now let us move on to the next section i keep on saying this again and again so the next section is the network section which is simple 
it just displays you all the devices or network components which are connected to your network at real time well inside my network section it shows three things the first thing is actually my wi-fi router the next thing is actually my pc that is displayed as the local host and the third thing is actually my pc that is my motherboard's network card or lan card they call it as these are the three things which are currently connected to my network and those things are clearly displayed here and in case if you find an initial thing connected to your network then just change your network access password in case if you find some other unknown user accessing your wi-fi network then just change your password to a strong one and 1234 is not a strong password as sheldon said please use a strong password for your wi-fi jumping on to the last but not least section alert section this is nothing but as the name says alert it notifies you of your network activity from time to time where you can view what are the things which are happening in your network view some other things uh, which happened already and other things here also you can categorize it by date apps and type starting from current date to till you install glassware firewall software and when you move on to app section it shows the apps individual alert activity if internet explorer has started for the first time the first network activity will be reported by this alert system and at last type it will be either a new software network activity or in case if you are updated a software then those things will also be notified by glassware firewall here inside the obs software which is nothing but my screen recorder software there are two alerts one is first network activity and the next is update alert i have updated the software just now so it is displayed inside the alert section you can scan your network monitor your network see time to time notifications block access to a software or service all these things can be done with this class firewall now even if you are not satisfied then you are a freaking voldemort but i liked it so I consider this good. These are all the features. There are options like changing skins, changing languages. If you are not comfortable with English, then you can switch to other language. There are totally 15 to 16 languages or 10 languages I think. And the other option is changing the skin which changes the color of the graph and other things inside the software. If you are not comfortable with the yellow and pink default theme then change that to your own skin. Inside the settings section there are lots and lots of options like beginning idle mode, running on startup, enable train notification, administrator account passwords and other things like that. If the account that glassware firewall installed is not the administrator account then you can specify this log so that every time if you want to change or if you open glassware firewall it will ask for the administrator's password that is in the client section of this software moving on to the next settings remote server settings where if you want to view the activity of a server in case if you have a hosting server website hosting site or a website hosting server and if you want to view the activity of that thing uh, then you can specify the ip address and the access password of that particular host or the server and you can view the activity inside glassware firewall in the server thing in the general section as i said the same way accessing a server and setting some other modifications like port address port range and other things and last settings option is nothing but the security settings where you can adjust lots and lots of security options my advice don't turn off the settings which are turned on by default because those things are turned on for your security so that is all pretty much it with this last firewall software i hope you like the software if you like then the link is in the description click it and download it uh it's good i hope you enjoyed the video if you did so give me a like if you didn't so give me a dislike if you have any suggestions write it as comments and if you want to stay connected with my channel subscribe if you are already a subscriber for my channel then thanks for subscribing i will hopefully meet you guys and girls in the next one until unless it's bye bye from my tss bye